Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this one is about a particular error code that comes from Flake 8, uh, which actually comes from PyFlakes, but Flake 8, you know, wraps PyFlakes. Uh, and that error code is F401, which is imported but unused. And it's really common in init.py files, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. So let's jump into it. Okay, in order to set this up, I need to set up a small package with an init.py file. I'm going to show you a quick example of that. I actually very rarely write code in init.py files. Um, I find that it's really easy to add circular imports and have all sorts of other problems. So I just avoid it entirely myself and do explicit, you know, full explicit absolute imports. But anyway, we're going to set one up today just to show that. So let's make to my package and we're going to give it an init.py file. And let's say that there's some private implementation details that we're going to hide inside of my package. Uh, maybe some function, and I don't know, it just prints hello, hello world. And let's say that we wanted to expose that functionality out of the my package namespace. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit my package slash init.py, and we're going to do from dot underscore impl. So this is an explicit relative import. So it's going to import from the submodule, import some function. And if we run this now, we can do import my package and then do my package dot some function and you'll see that it's exposed you know it's exposed that implementation detail to the outside world now you might have private implementation inside of this as well beyond this public function but you know this is a silly example um but yeah so this this works but if we were to run flake 8 on this flake 8 my package you'll see that we get this f401 some function imported but unused and fortunately, there's a very good solution to this that self-documents your uh, namespace. And that is to set up the double under all uh, variable in your, in, your, in your package namespace and give that a sequence of all of the functions you're going to expose. It has to be strings here. So uh, you can put some function and I'm using a tuple. I prefer tuples to lists. You can use lists as well. Uh, and what uh, PyFlakes will basically parse this and know that this is a, you know, a namespace that's just re-exporting a function. And so that will no longer be an error there. And so this is kind of the best way to do that. Um, and you'll notice, you know, if we still run this import my package, we can still do my package dot sum function. Uh, now you might ask what double under all is. I haven't I did do a video on star imports. I think I covered it in that one, so I'll link it in the description. Uh, but basically what that does is if you're doing from my package import star, it will import all of the names that are listed here uh, and avoid any of the other ones. So if we had like x equals two, for instance, and we reran this from my package import star, uh, you'll see that we don't import x even though import my package even though my package dot x is available so it it just sources from the double under all but anyway uh this is this is the way to fix f401 there uh hopefully this was interesting if there are additional things you would like me to explain leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms but thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one